If you're going to be taking a Florida teacher certification exam, you'll definitely need to know how to solve a problem like this. Now to do that, you'll need a really good understanding of how to solve basic linear equations, basic linear inequalities, and how to graph the solution to an inequality. So let's take a look at the solution and we'll walk through it step by step. All right, so here is our problem. We have negative two X plus one is greater than or equal to nine. Now to solve this, we basically need to understand two things. And the first is we need to know how to solve basic linear inequalities and linear equations. So if this problem was negative two X plus one is equal to nine, well, you need to know how to solve this equation before you take on this inequality. So that's the first thing that, need to, that you need to understand. The second thing is you need to know how to express your solutions to inequalities as a graph. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the steps to solve this simple inequality. And again, you wanna be thinking about the steps to solve an equation. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this. Now, if you know how to solve this simple equation, if this was an equation, well, what's the first thing that you need to do? Well, if this was an equation, the first thing that we need to do is subtract one from both sides of the equation. But again, we are dealing with an inequality, so we're going to just keep this inequality symbol. But a good mental uh, framework is just to kind of think of this in your brain as an equal sign if that helps you out. Okay, so here we have negative two X plus one is greater than or equal to nine. So again, the first step is we're gonna subtract one from both sides of the inequality. And then we're gonna add down in a column manner. So negative two X plus nothing is negative two X. One minus one is zero, we, need, we don't need to write that. And then we have greater than or equal to, we'll write that there, and then nine minus one is eight. Okay, so here we're just down to one more step. But the next step that we're gonna take, you have to be super careful with because so many people make this error that I'm gonna be talking about. Okay, so if this again was an equation, we would have negative two X is equal to eight. So the last step here is to divide both sides of the equation by negative two. But what we're gonna do is divide both sides of this inequality by negative two. Okay, so what is this big error I'm talking about? Well, the error is the following. Anytime you divide an inequality or both sides of an inequality by a negative value or multiply uh, both sides of an inequality by a negative value, you must reverse the inequality symbol. So we're going to reverse this greater than or equal to symbol and the way that's gonna work is this. If you're gonna be taking a Florida teacher certification exam, you don't wanna take a chance of failing because of weak math skills. So instead of guessing on math questions, why not answer them confidently? So make sure to check out my full catalog of FTCE math test prep courses. They are extremely comprehensive with easy to follow step-by-step -step lessons just like this and much, much more. So if you wanna check out these courses, just follow the links in the description. Okay, or it's the way that's gonna look is uh, this way. So we have negative two X is greater than or equal to eight. So the last step here to get X by itself, kind of like if we were solving an equation, is to divide both sides of the inequality by this negative two. So we're gonna end up with negative two divided by negative two, that's X on this side. Here we have eight divided by negative two, that is of course negative four. But the big thing here is that we have to reverse this inequality symbol. So we're gonna go from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. So this is our final answer. Okay, so again, uh, you gotta be really careful here when you're solving inequalities. There's kind of a lot of things going on. You need to know uh, how to solve linear equations and you have to be very careful with these inequality symbols, especially if you see negative values. Okay, so let's talk about how to graph the solution to a simple inequality. Now, there is a lot to this, but I'll show you this real uh, quickly. So here we have X is less than or equal to negative four. So this is the solution. But what we wanna do here is express this as a graph. So graphically, uh, what this is gonna look like is the following, okay? But let's just kinda of make sure we interpret the solution here. So X is less than or equal to negative four. What this is saying is that all numbers X 
where the solution are all numbers x such that they are less than or equal to negative 4. So the way you want to do this is draw yourself a, a little number line and then you go to this value here on that number line. So that would be negative 4. Now a good practice is just to draw an open circle at that value, negative 4. And then you have to think about where are all the numbers that are less than negative 4. Well they are to the left of negative 4. So these numbers here are decreasing. So if you get confused about this, especially with negative values, just kind of go over here to the positive side. So if we had 8, you have to ask yourself, where are the numbers that are less than 8? Well, they are to the left of 8. Okay, so numbers going in this direction are getting smaller, and numbers that are going uh, to the right are getting larger. Okay, so these are all the numbers that are less than negative 4. Okay, but we here, we have less than or equal to. So to show that negative 4 is also a solution, what you want to do is fill in that circle. Another way you can see that is this arrow, and then you can have a little bracket like that. That's another type of notation. Okay, so our final solution to this problem is x is less than or equal to negative 4, and this would be the graph. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And again, if you are preparing for an FTCE exam, and you want more step-by-step -step practice like this, make sure to check out all of my FTCE math test prep courses. You can find links to all of those in the description of this video.